OK, so let's say I want to find small angle approximations for each of these expressions. So sine squared theta cos theta, sine squared, well sine theta is theta, so we'd have theta squared times by cos theta, which is 1 minus a half theta squared. So multiplying through, you'd have theta squared, oh sorry, take away 1 half theta to the 4. Okay, now obviously because if theta is small, then theta to the 4 will be very small indeed, and uh, will likely be negligible, okay? But uh, we would leave it in this format for the time being, unless otherwise um, stated. Now, sine theta cos squared theta would be approximately theta times by 1 minus a half theta squared squared. So that's theta times, now expanding this, we would have 1, then we would have uh, take away um, theta squared and plus a quarter theta to the 4. So that's expanding that quadratic. And then multiplying through by theta, we'd have theta take away theta cubed plus a quarter theta to the 5. And obviously also, in this case, theta cubed and theta to the 5 will be very small by that point. Sine squared theta plus 1 over cos theta. Well, we would have theta squared plus 1 over cos theta, which is 1 take away a half theta squared. And that's as good as I can get it, OK? Sec squared, which is 1 over cos squared. So that's 1 over 1 minus a half theta squared squared, which is 1 over... Uh, using my expansion from up here, 1 minus theta squared plus a quarter theta to the 4. And then finally, cosec squared, well, that's 1 over sine squared, so that'd be 1 over theta squared. OK, so that's how we can get small angle approximations um, for different trigonometric expressions.